Welcome back everyone to episode 8 of the Mexico series. So, we're doing pretty well. So we have an excess of 0.61%. And that 0.61% is roughly about $3 billion, which is good considering we were down at the beginning of the series by $67 billion. So let's check our unemployment. That's at 4.99%. You might as well just say 5%. Our inflation rate is down to 3.07. So our new tax code is up for a vote. And that is going to take place on March 2nd. So have roughly about a week and a half or so or two weeks now let's look at our energy supply we have a 13 watt surplus so we're going to need to build more uh, nuclear plants Or we could go with offshore wind and how quickly all right so that's going to cost 13 billion what if we just go with another that's going to take the entire 26 billion So we have to figure out a couple things here. That doesn't kick out enough power though. So we'll go ahead with let's do it in six months. We'll put that there. Did that completely deplete our surplus or treasury reserve? And it did. Alright, so internet is improved. So, the first thing we're going to do is try to do something with the crime rate. Um... I'm basically at a loss now, so we went from, I believe, maybe 300,000 or 200,000, somewhere in between there, and we're up to a million police officers, and still, we haven't really made much progress, and even the drug addiction rate has only gone down slightly. So, try to deal with the crime. We're going to increase the uh, surveillance cameras by 20,000. And we're going to make this... Uh, anti-crime bill for 
and we're going to create that reform but we're also going to make prostitution illegal completely now the funny thing is <laughs> the people aren't going to like it so we did that um so now because of the oil let's just take a quick look at our oil production so We are number five, so, and looks like we're going to be gaining on Canada and Saudi Arabia, so, probably within another year or two, we'll surpass them as well. But let's look at our fuel. In terms of fuel production, we're not, we're barely in the running for, so we're not even in the top 10, but we are going to increase our subsidy to 50. And with the uh, amount of oil we're producing, we might as well increase our uh, production in the plastic industry. So let's go with 50 million for that also. And satellites, what do we have? All right, so there's nothing we could do with that for now. All right, Russia and Norway are now in a conflict. That's another conflict we're taking no parts in. All right, so let's go to housing. I'm going to rehabilitate 15,000 homes. Our services report a new conspiracy theory that is beginning to take hold on social media. All right, and... Let's go to pharmaceuticals. So let's see if we can completely nationalize that sector. Or let's just do a subsidy of 60 million. All right, I kind of have to watch everything because of inflation, so. I'm going to raise that by 1%. Let's go to our unemployment. So that's starting to go down. Let's see if we could just fully fund the labor. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. Okay, our tax code passed. And let's 
let's take a look at... Alright, so we're developing the high-speed internet in the capital. So it's now 79%. Let's raise it to 81. All right, so we're now in a slight deficit. Growth is up. Uh, let's go with road service. Let's bump that up by one star. All right, our cybersecurity is up. Although your economy is among the healthiest, your solvency may not be safe from depreciation. So we would like to reiterate our confidence in you while recommending vigilance. Let me remind you, in case you're unaware, that our assessment is mainly based on your projected budget deficit, the amount of your debt, and, this specific to our agency, on the operating expenses of your public sector. All right, so Japan experienced a tsunami. We're not getting involved in that also. Let's take a quick look at our oil platform. So we have another 96 days before that's completed. And a few more days for our oil terminal to be completed as well. So let's see with energy and let's see if we can authorize a pipeline between us and the United States. Doesn't mean we're going to build it immediately. But it doesn't hurt to try to get that approved. And let's see. All right, so El Salvador is the only one that close by that doesn't really like us besides Cuba. Oh, and the Bahamas. Oh, the bulk of the islands here don't like us for whatever this reason. This is spreading and attracting new followers. All right, so let's check our military. All right, so let's increase our missile production. Wait, for the entire country, we only have one air base? That is not good at all. All right, so where is this air base at? This is the only one? And we only have 10 fighter jets. All right, so we're going to have to uh, do something about that. This country signed our request for authorization to construct a pipeline on their soil. Since we have a good economic relationship with them, we didn't have any trouble convincing them. All right, well, that's this good. This theory is undeniably gaining popularity on social media. Blogs on the subject are multiplying even if it is still confined to groups who are used to this kind of controversy. However, it should be noted that it has been picked up by some media in social columns. In the long term, it could damage our relations with China. All right, so... All right, so dealing with the cartels... Um, 
that's a terrorist group, so we are going to... Let's increase fight against terrorism by one star. Alright, so our budget access is seven billion. Alright, so let's go to fighter jets. Alright, so if we do that, let's see. Alright, so we're going to do that with fighter jets and... Let's see, how many... How much equipment do we have? So we have 601 tanks, but they're all level one. So it's the weakest tank out there. Same with helicopters. Only 10 fighter jets. 42 frigates and cruisers. So we have to upgrade our military. Although your economy is among the healthiest, your solvency may not be safe from depreciation. So we would like to reiterate our confidence in you while recommending vigilance. Okay, our oil port is complete. No, we're not going to take out anyone for now. All right, so we're now down to a 10 terawatt surplus. All right, let's go to... Let's go to industry and... What about gold? So we're going to do a $25 million subsidy for gold. And steel. What are we at? So we're at 52. Let's increase that to 75. No, uh, we're not going to take out Cuba's leader either. And we only have one drone? Yeah, only one drone for the entire country. Alright, so that's... That is not uh, acceptable at all. So let's just exonerate that sector and then I'm going to do 25 million. I'm trying to keep it low so it doesn't. All right, so. Inflation is already going back up. So we're going to have to do something with the uh, taxes then. Alright, so what's the deal with that? 52. No. 
the bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. Alright, so we'll keep an eye on how this affects crime. It's just starting to go down a little bit. Barely noticeable. This law puts an end to the abject profession that was corrupting our country by protecting the bodies and souls of fragile people and by punishing their customers and especially their employers, you are dealing a real blow to the human trafficking industry. You can count on my support as long as you embody morality and dignity. All right, so we'll see how this goes with uh, prostitution being illegal now. All right, so let's see. All right, let's take a quick look at unemployment. So that is going down. This theory is spreading and attracting new followers. The media has widely covered the subject this week. This. Alright, we're gonna send the military in to deal with them. And let's go to Secret Service. And. Alright, so let's look at some of these conspiracy theories. Alright, so this guru right here... So let's start a rumor about him. All right, let this go with sexual debauchery. Okay, Israel Network. Israeli government secretly finances North Korea's democratic actions terrorists which attacked North Korea. All right, so what's our relation with North Korea? Eh, they don't like us. But Israel hates us, so... It's begun. Our team... So, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's put that information out there. Off we go. Police, justice, and journalists have all found out. The scandal is breaking as expected. I know people who are going to experiment with what Lloyd and Simons back in the day called the ahem, dynamic of inextricable links. It goes without saying that the judges are going to love it. Alright, let's just close these out. Not really concerned with them. All right, so let's take a look at our natural gas project. How much longer? About 42 days.
All right, so that'll be done pretty shortly. And let's take a look at... All right, so this highway is finally completed. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to two points... All right, we'll attempt to dismantle and uh, see how that goes. Hopefully we can deal a uh, serious blow to the cartels. Um, so let's do another highway from Mexico City to Pue Puebla. Yeah, Puebla. has 1.3 million people united with 9.7 million people hunger strike all right anti-environmental policy and eh, we're not concerned with that so let's go ahead and Link the two cities together. Alright, so it's 105 miles. It will cost roughly 761 million with 1,068 workers. And that'll be done in six months. So. Be done in two months. All right, less than four, we can do that. All right, so we have a $2.78 billion surplus. Really bad choices. Okay, well, whatever. All right, we're not taking out anyone in Cuba. Favorable regime change in Sierra Leone. Uh, fiber optics will keep to ourselves. And same with robotic communication since we're not the first ones. So we have growth of 7.69. Let's look at the... Uh, Interest rate. All right, that's going up again. Uh, let's see about taxes here. Um, let's see. So we need to Bring in some more money. Alright, so gambling can bump that up to 2 all right so that gives us about 5 billion and that has 82% support and the inheritance tax all right so not going to get too greedy with that. We'll... About an even 13%. And we'll do that. So that'll pass. 
Uh, company tax. So what we could do... Uh, hold off. Um, let's see. If we just make this an even... Okay, so we'll go with that also. It has well and truly failed. Our smear campaign did not work. The target is always on their guard against this sort of disinformation, and their affable personality does not make the rumor credible. What's more, it seems that our operation was leaked from our own services. More to follow. Oh, well, that's not good. All right, Indonesia, we're not concerned with that. Definitely not concerned with uh, Ukraine. All right, so let me satisfy the green energy nuts. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with 25. Um, oh, we have a treasury reserve again. So, and yeah, we'll go with... Uh, 25 and that'll cost us 226 million dollars. We have a problem. My sources mentioned leaks to the press that risk compromising yourself. To be clear, I fear they will set in motion a particularly lethal Murphy dynamic that will lead to a scandal. Ahem. In short, expect the worst. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is an excellent figure. Our economy is flourishing, our production increases. All right, so unemployment's down to 4%. Or close to 4%. And let's go to our dead. So we have a three, almost a $4 billion surplus. So let's sit with some of these countries to negotiate the interest rate again. Uh, no point in Germany because it's 0% interest rate. We'll sit with India. And Japan. All right, so we owe 457 billion. And we're paying roughly close to 20 billion in interest. All right, so we have a 0% interest in the US, so let's sit with the UK. This theory is undeniably gaining popularity on social media. I CO2 emissions increasing. Okay. Have a chance to murder the head of state of Israel. Ah, no, we're not doing that. I'd be happy to. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? All right, let's shoot for 20... 
Let's go for 17. We would prefer to terminate this negotiation. The terms are... Alright. Whatever. Alright, let's just end that meeting. Alright, hunger strike. Alright, so that's actually... This nonsense is actually affecting my popularity. Alright, let's go to... Alright, inflation is going back up. I'd be happy to. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Alright, so that's $13.99. So let's go for... Let's go for 12 Very well. Uh, we accept your offer. I managed to shave off a whole percent from that. It saves us some money. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. All right. Be happy. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? All right. Let's see. Can we uh, get a whole percent off of that too? Very well. We accept your offer. Okay. So we did. All right. Give weapons to a country. All right, so out of curiosity, where are we in terms of uranium? So we would have to purchase uranium. We could purchase some from Argentina. Do we have good relations with them? Yes, we do. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. All right. I'd be happy to. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Okay, 871, so... Very well, we accept your offer. Alright. Let's see if... Get an exchange program with them. All right, so they accepted. And let's see if we could get the same thing with Argentina. They still refuse. Alright, so we need to improve our educational system. Our scientific cell infiltrated an important research center. According to the information theory, we are therefore potentially a... Alright, so let's go to the environment. Okay, we don't have, uh, let me see. So we don't have shale oil anyway. So let's.
let's go back and we'll go ahead and prove that because it was never going to happen anyway. So my approval went up. All right, let's take a look at still nothing with crime. So we're going to have to be even more aggressive with. Uh, let's see. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. All right, so we lowered company tax, so that should help with the uh, unemployment, with uh, bringing that down. And let's take a quick look at... Let's go to farming. All right, so that's balanced. So cereal, how much are we subsidizing that by? Let's go with uh, 125 million. And fishing. Let's go to housing real quick. So let's go with 15,000 homes again. All right, so we have a budget excess of 18 billion now and 404 million as a treasury reserve. All right, so let's see, highway patrol. Killed in road accidents, so that's the last All right, so let's try let's try thirty prisons. See how that affects everything. Undeniably, you have inside you the founding values of... Alright, public finance is what's... That hunger strike. Alright, so we're gonna have to address this. So I just learned something the other day. So let's meet with family and friends. Let's meet with our personal doctor. So this environment thing is 
bring in our poll numbers down. Strike against the government and all right. All right, so what else can we do for the environment? Let's go with the water treatment. I right, know. Let's just go with air pollution. So we'll invest some money in that. Impeccable, sir. You're in perfect form. All right, so I think I'm going to end this episode. So feel free to uh, leave comments and let me know what you think of this series so far. What ideas you may have for bringing crime down. At this point, I'm open to everything. I'm not sure if this is a bug or what but I don't seem to be able to get crime down at all um now I suspect that it's somehow tied to the drug cartels so I see I got them down by uh, 200,000 so just have to see what happens but please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon